Good morning. Our top story, Mumbaikas are fighting toxic fumes again. Over 24 hours after a fire broke out at the Deonar dumping ground in Mumbai, residents of the area are complaining of breathing problems. Ten fire tenders on the spot trying to douse out the flames, but smoke is choking the Chembur Navi Mumbai stretch as air quality dips. The smoke is visible from as far as Vashi Bridge till the end of the Ghatkopan Mankur Link Road. This is the second fire to have broken out at the dumping ground over the weekend. Earlier in January, a major fire led the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation to shut down 74 schools run by it for two days. The smoke from the site caused breathing trouble for residents. <laughs> कि ये डंपिंग जो है यहाँ से हटाया जाए और ये जो धुआं आग लगा के जो धुआं बार-बार किया जाता है जो हम लोगों को इसके इससे बहुत परेशानी है बहुत तकलीफ है इसलिए मैं सरकार से मांग करना चाहता हूँ कि ये या डंपिंग को कहीं और जाके कहीं और लगाए जाए डंपिंग को ये आबादी से दूर मुझे � चार साल या पांच साल पहले ही बंद हो चुका है यहाँ पे डंपिंग का प्रपोजल जो था वो खत्म हो चुका है उनका कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वगैरह सरकार की तरफ से कोई उपाय किया नहीं जाता सिर्फ आश्वासन मिलता है और कुछ भी नहीं होता so what is the government doing to prevent these fires at the Dinar dumping ground? Now, on the 2nd of February, the Chief Minister, Devinda Fadnavis, promised a slew of measures to tackle the problem of recover, rec recurring fires at this biggest dumping facility in the city, causing toxic pollution that's raising health concerns for citizens. He even promised to fire engines and that they would be on standby at Dinar. Yet, on the 19th of March, Residents had to dial 101 to call for a fire engine at 10.30 p.m. That's when the fire broke out. So, Ankita, my colleagues are on the phone line, Ankita Sinha, she's following this story. Ankita, so we heard lots of uh, promises really from the Chief Minister. He was very active on Twitter, tweeting about everything that the government's going to do in response. But what are they doing? Have those promises actually been followed up on the ground? Right. Sneha, so at the moment what's happened is uh, they have, while there were uh, cooling processes that were going on, now after the fire broke out in January, uh, continuously there were in, 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 in pockets of uh, they were our dumping ground, fire kept breaking out every day and there were two fire engines which were stationed there to take care of it, to douse the fire. However, that was clearly not enough because the fire which took place, uh, which, which, which took place on Saturday and spread uh, on Sunday, now, the latest one, the fresh fire, well, uh, this has spread across an area of about two to three kilometers. And the residents that I had a word with, I spoke to, they have been complaining of major smog in the area last night and they were having problems breathing. So, clearly, there's not been enough steps have not been taken to, or maybe they haven't foreseen, uh, they say, the problem occurring at a large scale. Now, uh, well, last time it was huge. There were about, if you remember, there were about 16 water tankers, 16 fire engines and uh, Pouring water tankers throughout. This was clearly not there this time when the fire took place, which is why it spread across a large area very soon. However, residents are now hopeful. Now, Deonar, while Deonar is one of the biggest dumping grounds, uh, there are two others as well. There's Mulun and there's Ghat Koper as well. Now, residents are demanding that these dumping grounds be shifted from these areas because they are residential areas and be shifted to areas uh, across areas which are far away from these places in Mumbai. That has not been done. There has been no steps taken in that aspect. So that's exactly what remains to be seen now. Will the government act on that? Will they will they ask will they ask the dumping grounds? Well, uh, what the solutions which environmentalists had earlier come uh, come up with was one: introduce either treatment plants of these these waste garbages in the dumping ground itself, or move them somewhere else far away from the population. Now that no step has been taken on that aspect. All right, uh, Ankita, thanks so much. We actually also have one of these environmentalists that you've been mentioning in your report that we have Sumaira Abdullali joining us on the phone line. Sumaira, my colleague, uh, gave us the background to the case here, but really, can you tell us what are the long-term, what is, the, is there a long-term solution really to this? What have you put forward as environmentalists to the government? Because we know that 9,000 metric tons of garbage is generated in Mumbai on a daily basis. Yes, that's right. About uh, a lot of that is construction debris. The rest of it is plastic uh, 
garbage, household garbage, everything mixed up. I don't think the solution is to just move the dumping ground and to create another dumping ground somewhere else where residences will also grow up. We have to remember that this was not in the heart of the city when it was built, but the city has grown up around it. I think we need to rather find other ways of disposing of our waste by recycling. Recycling needs to be done for every type of material which is uh, put into the garbage dump currently. And separately, we need to collect plastic, glass, uh, household waste, debris, and recycle each of these items in a separate manner. I think that is the solution and not just transferring the problem somewhere else where the air pollution continues to trouble us for the next so many years. All of our health is suffering, not only the people close to the ground, but the entire city because air pollution travels. So just moving it a little bit distant is not going to really make too much difference.